All right, so I wanted to do a review of the Yak Gadget Easy Grip Paddle, paddle Holder. Um, the Everybody uses a Yak Attack Roto Grip, and that's a great product. No shade on that, because I've used one forever. I took it off. Um, I was doing something, took it off, lost a piece of it, and decided to get, go away a new one. So I'm trying the Yak Gadget one. And I'm not using it for a paddle. I'm using it for a net. And the difference between this and the Yak, Yak Attack Roto Grip is this one is bigger. The gap in between the two uh, little deals there is larger. The gap between here and here is wider. So it can hold something bigger. So let me put my net here. It'll make sense why I'm making this video. The Roto Grip, I had an issue because my net was like it, it was it would go down but it was tough like i really had to put it in there and for me i don't want it to be tough i just want something that holds it steady so for me the yak gadget one works better because it's a little bit wider so and i'll show a paddle here the difference so my hobie paddle it does lock it in there but it seems like the yak attack one is like smaller not as wide so it was more difficult to get in there which could be good could be good could be bad depend on your application just want to kind of do a little review and show the difference between the two so this is a yak gadget version you can see it's got a t-bolt like normal and then this tightener so super easy to use you don't spin the top like you do on a roto grip so great product from yak yak gadget just want to show it uh yeah if you're interested in looking for a paddle or a net holder there you go